All right, guys, another week and another news video. We have some big news about Fallout 76, and today is a day that could have been the start of a great new adventure into the Starfield. But first, I want to take a moment to honor my fellow veterans on this day. I am proud of my service to this great nation, and anyone who joins the American Armed Forces deserves respect. I know I don't really go out of my way to say a lot about my time in the service, but it was a big part of my life. So to all of my brothers and sisters in arms, I say thank you, even though it is not necessary to say. We serve because it is our calling to do so. That said, service members are the true heroes of this nation. Thank you for serving and stay safe out there wherever you may be. Today would have been the day that Starfield launched. Ah, what could have been. Alas, it was not to be. I do expect that we will be getting some more information about the game soon, so keep your eyes peeled, as I don't think we will be waiting very long. Now, let's talk about Fallout 76. In yesterday's Inside the Vault article, we learned that there is a new event that will be starting on November 15th, and it will run till November 28th. This new event is called Call to Axion. This will be an event that has you complete daily and weekly challenges to earn rewards, and is specific to the auto axe. There will be new skins and outfits to earn with these challenges, so make sure you log in to complete them each day. This weekend is also double XP, double score, and the mystery pick event. So, from now until the 14th, you can level up faster, and if you have not completed the scoreboard yet, you could easily get it done this weekend. Get out there and happy hunting. Now, the big news. Recently, the public test server just got an update, and this one had several fixes, which is normal. But Bethesda also surprised everyone with some major weapon changes. The article reads, Although we are playing in a post-apocalyptic world, we still want to keep that world fair, fun, and inviting to all. While you have been exploring and rebuilding, we have been working on a new system that works behind the scenes to remove illegal attachment combinations that violate the EULA to ensure that every single player is using the same items and has the same advantages as you. In today's PTS update, we are implementing a system that will remove illegal mods attached to weapons that cannot be obtained in-game. Most players will not notice any change to their existing weapons. However, players who are in possession of a weapon with a mod that cannot be equipped naturally to the weapon may notice a damage decrease to the weapon, and the mod will no longer exist. This is intentional and does not need to be reported to the PTS Bug Reports channel in our official Discord, but we encourage you to report anything unusual you observe outside of this change. I know, that was a lot, so let's break it down. What is being said is that any weapon that has an ability or modification that is not able to be added within the current system that will be removed from the weapon, which is certainly going to reduce the damage of that weapon. Legacy weapons fall into this category since they have abilities that are not able to be obtained in the current system. This is an interesting announcement since prior to this, Bethesda has shied away from the topic of legacies and outright ignored any attempt to get them to talk about it. This has created a lot of talk from both sides of the coin, from people who are in favor of removing legacies and those who have them and want to keep them. To be clear, I get both arguments. On one hand, there are players who have been playing long enough to have been lucky to get one of these coveted weapons. While they have done nothing wrong to obtain said weapon, it did pose a problem since new players could never hope to do the kind of damage these older players were getting away with and thus would miss out on the opportunity to participate in big boss fights because the boss would be killed in seconds by these vastly overpowered weapons. 
On the other hand, we have the group of new players, and even old ones, who were never lucky enough to get one of those weapons. I happen to fall into this category. I have been playing from the start, and never got one of those legacy weapons. I can attest to this being a big disadvantage in-game, because I could never hope to do the amount of damage those weapons could do. Ever since those weapons were no longer able to be obtained, the question has been continually asked as to what Bethesda was going to do about them. Personally, I am glad they came up with a solution that did not just completely remove the weapon from the game. This also solves another issue. Hackers have been making weapons that should never have been able to exist for years now, and this new system will fix that problem, which will ultimately create a better playing experience for all. I know that some of you have these legacy weapons, and I am sorry that you will no longer be able to use those weapons once the new update goes live, but it is for the best, and I believe this new system is the best way to deal with multiple problems with the least amount of backlash. So, if you have one of these weapons, get all the use you can out of it while you still can, because once they are fixed, there is no going back. Say your goodbyes, and make peace with the change because Appalachia is going to change a whole lot more. It certainly is going to change how boss fights are done, and even how nuke runs are done. In the end, I think it will make things more challenging going forward, which to me is far more fun. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this new system change? Are you for it? Are you against it? Why do you feel either way? Sound off in the comments below. While you're at it, like, subscribe, and share. As always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.